Hi everybody, this is Mr. McKee. This is for CTS 115. I want to go ahead and show you guys what's going to be due for this week. All right, so I'm in Noodle, CTS 115. Go to week 13. All right, so you can see right here, uh, I'll be in training all week, uh, professional development training. So I'm giving you guys an online assignment. Uh, you're basically working on the CTS 115 project development. One of those parts is um, making your spreadsheet look, have the same theme throughout, and also make it look professional. I'm going to show you guys how mine looks. I've just started on it, but that's fine. All right. Got to copy all your related information from your assignments you've done so far in the class uh, into the related sheets. I'll show you guys that too. All right. Found a, this is only like a two and a half minute video on how to create a flowchart in Excel. That'll help you for your uh, flowchart portion. Thursday class, same as above. I'll be in training, so I'm going to let you guys do everything online. Um, here's your submission link for your project. Uh, that's due by Sunday night at 11.55 p.m. All right, so let me show you guys what I'm going to expect. All right, so here's my, this spreadsheet looks almost identical to what I um, posted online for you guys on Moodle. All right, first thing, a couple of little, this is like your introduction page, uh, name of your product or service um, you've been thinking about making. Uh, Answer those questions. You should be able to post, uh, copy and paste this off one of your assignments you've done so far in the course. The questions page, this is your business goal solutions. You should already have all these answered. This is just kind of like a cut and paste kind of thing. All right, flowchart, I'm going to skip that for now. Transferable skills, you're going to post your, uh, paste your transferable skills in there that will either help or be a barrier to developing your product or service. Your via character traits, top 10 traits, po paste those in there. Future jobs brainstorming, that'll be a, a copy and paste. Future IT trends, all right, you've already researched future IT trends, uh, IoT trends, that you'll copy and paste into there. All right, so everything pretty much is cut and copy and paste so far. All right, now going back to the uh, logic flow. All right. So process flow, how, how does your the process of your product or service flow logically? My example was a project to automatically water my plants because my plants don't look bad now, but I forget to water them for a couple of weeks, especially when I'm on um, break. All right, so I'm going to start right here at the start. All right, from there I take a value of the soil moisture. If it's too low, I'm going to add water to it. If it's okay, I'm going to leave it. All right, so flow down to there. This is where I'm going to make a decision. Soil moisture level too low, yes or no. If it's no, I'm going to stop the pump if it's already pumping, and if it's yes, I'm going to start the pump. So actually, you should have these labeled also. Um, let's add some text. Insert text right here. So soil uh, moisture level is too low. No. Just drag this right to there. And copy that. Paste it. Whoops. Insert. All right, so pretty easy. 
start my process right here, taking a soil moisture sample, deciding whether the soil moisture uh, is too low. If it's not too low, I want to stop the pump because possibly it's already been running. If it is too low, go to yes, start the pump. Uh, that ends the process. Okay, this is pretty much the most basic um, I want you guys to do, but you can make it more in depth because obviously you're going to do more processing than this. If I did this with the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to start it maybe, start at startup, um, make it automatically execute uh, this routine. All right, so it's going to start automatically. Uh, I'm going to have a sensor that's plugged into the soil. Take a um, value of the so uh, soil moisture. I might send this value out to a LCD screen maybe. Um, I'm all, also going to flow down here and say, okay, make my decision. Um, if the moisture is too low, maybe alert me possibly. Um, and then also if I stop the pump, if it's already pumping, if the, the soil moisture is not too low, I'm going to stop the pump here, but then I'm also going to loop back around, say maybe in a couple minutes or maybe a couple hours, go back up here and then take another sample. Okay. If it's still no, I'm going to keep looping around until it actually goes to yes. When it goes to yes, it'll start the pump again. All right. So it'll actually be a loop. It won't just end the process there. Um, but for now, though, this right here is perfect. It's just enough. All right. Another thing I want you guys to do, that's one of the big things. You're going to copy, uh, copy and paste everything else. But I want you to make, say if you're heading, I don't know, let's make a good, a nice looking heading. There. Maybe merge these together. All right, so everything else should be about the same. I did format painter. So all the formatting should look the same. All right, let's save that. Format paint that. All right, of course that looks a little small, but that's fine. I want you to go through here and take time and make it look professional. Because so this is something you can actually take to, say, a job interview. Say, hey, I made this logic. I made all these um, important points, considerations I've made. Um, done research on Internet of Things trends. All right. So format everything the same. All the um, headings should be the same. Same color, same font. All right. Even the colors on the flow chart, you can make that match your headings too. All right. But just work on that. Make that look good. Everything should be copy and pasted in here. Flow chart should be created. Um, don't have to go too in depth with that. I've got one, two, three. I've got six different things. One decision, a couple of decisions. That's about it. I've actually included a link. You can use this link to create your flowchart. Pretty much though, let me get back to Moodle. All right, this little flowchart link to YouTube that looks two minutes. It shows you how to do it. All right. And that's about it. Just go ahead and after you're done, submit it right there. And I'll take a look at it and you'll get credit. All right. And this week also, big thing, attendance is taken based on the submission of your assignments. If you turn this, your assignment in five minutes late, you get an absence. All right. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put this video up here so you guys can see it. And uh, send me an email if you have any questions. All right, there's my email right there. All right, thanks for watching.